Hey guys, Marco Juco 21 here today. Today I have an unboxing slash review of the Rav Power Power Bank, uh, six thousand milliamp external battery USB. There's, as you guys can see, this is different from a some other common power uh, USB external batteries. Over here, as you guys can see in the box, it has a USB built in to charge it, a 30 pin dock. Uh, 30 pin connector for iPhone, iPhone 4, and iPod, iPods that still have this kind of connector, and a micro USB for Android devices. As you guys can see here on the box, it says made for iPods, iPhones, and iPads. Over here, got uh, X Robot, reliable, affordable, and value. The affordable affordable part I'll be talking about later in this uh, the review. Over here in the back. You guys can see it says the capacity, some features about it. All the way down has a five LED indicator, which means every single LED light, which I'll show you guys right now after I take it out of the box here. Comes with a little tiny manual. Tells you some features about it, what the lights indicate, and everything else about it. Real nice and easy to actually get out a nice box it comes in guys okay, pulling that out nothing else in the box a nice foam packing when you get the device okay so here we got the rev power itself now comparing this to a galaxy s4 it's about as big um just uh probably like two finger lengths of it being uh, not as tall as it and it's probably the biggest battery ever compared to this little tiny uh, Galaxy S4. I think this is like three Galaxy S4 stacked up. So it's a really big uh, uh, battery. That's what uh, one of my main concern is. It's because of the battery and how they set up these uh, connectors to be built into it. So for my first impressions are is it's a really big battery. Over here we do have the power button and uh, power button and also uh, battery indicators as you can see it's at 2 so that means 40% because 5 indicators is equals 5 divided by 100 equals 20 so that's 40% uh, right there so over here on the left side we do have a micro USB port to charge a regular Android device as you guys can see right there it's going to start charging in a second there you go start charging pull that right out and fits all the way right back inside got a USB just in case you don't have a micro USB so maybe you have uh, the lightning connector for uh, iPhone 5 you can just plug in a regular USB and over here you do have the 30 pin dot connector over here we do have the USB to charge it comes out real nicely plug into a uh, plug into a USB and on your computer or a uh, wall adapter and start charging this over here you guys can see it says RAV power at the bottom and one thing uh, was kind of weird to me is when I hold it like this I'm I'm thinking the device should be hold like this but um, the buttons are like upside down so I'm guessing they want you to hold it like this I'm not really sure let me get you a closer look up at that you guys can see it's supposed to be meant to be the buttons are this way but the what do you call it? The logos down here, so that's a little no just something to note about. At the bottom, just gives you the model number, things like don't throw away. See, uh, oh, I actually don't know what these symbols actually mean, but um, nice and compact. And I've had this for around two to three weeks now. I really like the product. I've took this to me when I'm traveling. It's a really nice product on the go. Charges my uh, battery. But there's something really weird about this because this is a 6,000 milliamp external battery. And when this thing's on full charge and my Galaxy S4 around 10 to 20% and I charge it all the way, this thing's already at uh, one, one LED light. So it will be 20%, um, less than 20%. And this thing only has a 2,600 milliamp battery. So if you double that, that's only 5,200 milliamps. And this thing has 6,000. So I don't know what it is about this charger. 
But when I'm charging my Galaxy S4, it can only charge it charge about one time and then probably an extra twenty percent. That's the only way it can charge it. So I have no clue why it does that, even though it's claiming it has six thousand milliamps worth of battery. So just something to note about right there. All the way around, really good product. One thing I do like about this is that you can charge all three devices simultaneously. So you can have an Android device charging here, iPod charging here, and another USB charging right over here. You can have all three outputting at the same exact time. It can handle it. Um, one thing I tried doing is charging with my Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. It does not charge it. I don't know about the iPad. I do not own an iPad. I just own the Android Samsung Galaxy uh, tab. And it did not charge it because it says uh, not enough amps were uh, going into it to charge it. So it did not work for that. And one more thing. Over here I have the Anchor. Anchor battery. If you guys haven't seen this unboxing or review, down, link will be down below. But this thing right here. Uh, in size comparison, we'll just uh, see it right here. You guys can see it's a lot thinner, not by a whole bunch, but it is a lot smaller than this little big giant brick. And this thing is 5,600 milliamps, so only 4,000 less than this one. That's because of the built in, probably the built in uh, cables around it, what makes it bigger. And this thing right here, I'd rather have this kind of battery than this one because. The fact that this one right here can actually uh, charge my device, my Galaxy S4, two times. can charge this thing two times. And it's a lot smaller. It has an LED light and just one USB port. I don't really need the built-in cables. It's nice and convenient to have, but I'm not that kind of person. I would probably just bring my uh, the original charging cable that goes with it. So that's uh, something to note about. And this thing retails... The affordable thing I was talking about right over here, affordable, I really don't think it's that much affordable because of the price point. I've seen this for $39 to fit $49 right now on Amazon as of today. It's uh, $49.99, so that's $50 for this compared to this thing, which is only $30. I mean, the price difference, I'd rather choose the Anchor. And fifty dollars. They also have another product. I'll have the link down below for that. It's their Rav Power Power Bank ten thousand six hundred milliamp. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. Six hundred one thousand uh, ten thousand six hundred milliamp, and it costs less. It's only forty dollars. So, which one would you rather have? A five a six thousand or a ten thousand six hundred milliamp hour battery? I'd rather go with the ten thousand. For just 40 bucks i mean this is ten dollars more than that so i think that's mostly it if um if the price was lower and if the price was lower i would recommend this but i cannot recommend this to anybody i'd rather let you guys get the rav power 10,600 milliamp i will have the link down below for that and that is mostly it i'll see you guys there mocha juco 21 peace have any questions leave it down in the comment